Get ready for an uncommon experience in the presence of God. Be expectant and open up your heart as God's word comes to you this morning. This is Mercy Moments with Pastor Shola Oshumakinde. Hello, welcome to Mercy Moment on a beautiful Monday morning. I am Shalosh Makide. I'm your host. I'm so happy to be with you. Let's worship and give God praise. What a beautiful day. Father, we thank you. We love you. We worship you. Wherever you are, lift up your hands. Are you on the road? Are you at home? Are you at work? Just praise the name of the Lord. Tell him how great, how beautiful, how awesome. Thank you for your family, for your life, for everyone around you, for everything connected to you. Father, we thank you. We love you. We give you praise. You are good and your mercy endures forever. Blessed be your name, Lord Jesus. Thank you for another opportunity for us to fellowship together again at your feet. Teach us your word, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. This morning, I want to share something very beautiful with you. And that is about the gift that is called the discerning of spirits. Mm. The discerning of spirits. So I'm talking about discernment. This morning, there's an admonition in 1 John 4.1 that we should not believe every spirit but test every spirit. This is very crucial because of the, especially in our nation, the Bible says, test every spirit. Don't accept everything because it looks spiritual. But I'm also talking beyond spiritual things today to talking about ability to discern even when somebody is giving you a wrong information, being natural or spiritual. 
It's a gift that God expects all of us to function to an extent in. Otherwise, we'll be deceived many times. Somebody's watching me this morning. How come believers lose money in business to somebody lying to them all day long? How come? You see, there are things that you cannot know by your natural ability, no matter how well learned you are. At times, everything looks right in a relationship leading to marriage. And then when you are married, you see the opposite of what you were seeing before, now that you are married. How do you know when a guy is telling the truth? How do you know when there is something hidden inside a girl and she's not saying it out? You see, we need to discern. At times, beyond what people say on the surface, the motivation might be totally corrupt or very negative. Something happened. As soon as King Solomon was made king, shortly after his coronation as the king of Israel, two women brought a case to him, very hard to decide. For those watching me, there are situations that, it's not everything that is blue, black or white. In some cases, there are blood areas that you don't know exactly where to, and at this moment, you need ability to discern by the Spirit of God. One of the things I've discovered in life, some people have been uh, hurt or cheated by somebody, and then they decided to forgive only for the person to do a greater damage. And I've also seen a situation whereby somebody might have wronged you before, but might be the very person that will help you in the days to come. How do you know the difference? As the two women were speaking, Solomon was looking at them. And then by the wisdom of God, long and short of the story, he understood or he knew who was the real mother. As we walk and as we go about our daily routine, situations at times come before us where it's neither white nor black. It's just in between. Information can be passed to you. You know, the Bible says in John 2, 24, Jesus did not commit himself to men. He knew men. That's a deep word. They were talking of making him a king, but he knew that it was a dangerous plan. So at times, some intentions can even appear good at the beginning, but it might be a disastrous end. This is what a Christian must discern. And this happens when we spend time with the Lord to pray. That's what the Bible says. Trust the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge Him and He will direct your paths. Don't lean on your own understanding. Don't say, I, I, I can undo this. Pray about everything that has to do with you. Even in what looks like, oh, I know what to do. Still pray, even if it's just a word of prayer. When you say, Lord, guide me, then He will guide you. Then He will keep you. And at times, it will shock you how much evil the Lord will deliver you from. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. As we pray about things, God is committed to showing us so that our mistakes will be grossly limited in the name of Jesus. But also, that somebody is praying, sharing the word, does not necessarily mean you should listen to the person. You need to learn to discern to know what is true from what is not true. Hallelujah. I pray that the Lord will open your eyes of understanding. He will guide you from wrong information and from wrong spiritual stuff and He will direct your path. This will not be a very beautiful week for you. The Lord will lead you. He will guide you. He will pre preserve and protect you in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Till I come your way again next week, Monday. This is Mercy Moment with Shalom Shalom. I give you a beautiful Monday morning. God bless you. In Jesus' name. Amen.